Hello, Miss Ed. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Uh, my coworker is sleeping. <laughs> my coworker is sleeping. Los compañeros están dormidos todavía. Ah, oh, your <laughs> coworker are sleeping. Yes, probably it's because of the weather. I hope they get here with us soon. Hello, teacher. Hello, Subeida. Good, good evening. How are you tonight? Good evening. Fine, teacher. I am good. Okay. Thank you. I'm excellent. Thank you. Nice. How was your day today? How was your day? Very busy, teacher. Ah, today was a very busy day. Yes, Hello. I. Yo voy llegando. Uh, I'm just coming home. I'm just. Uh, I. I just coming home. Okay. Right now. Okay, excellent. Hello, Eric. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Hello, Jonathan. Welcome to the class. Good evening. What are your classmates now? Parece que se tomaron el día libre hoy. So anyway, so let's start with the class. Uh, do you have any question about the plan for exercises for the final test? No teacher. No question? No question. Okay, uh, so Veda, in which section are you working on? I finished, teacher. Oh, you have already finished. Last weekend, yes. Ah, okay. The last you, weekend, I you finished the exercises last weekend. Excellent. Thanks a lot. Yes. So, congratulations. You are done then. Thank you. So, be happy, right? You have already finished. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Angelica. Hello, Vanessa. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Okay, tonight we are going to have a review about the final test. So let me share with you this. So I'm sharing with you my screen. Can you please let me know if you are seeing? Can you see my screen? Let me know, please. Yes, teacher. Okay, it's in it. So this is the final exam. This is the final exam, and you are going to find the T6, six exercises that you have to solve in this part. So in the first, you are going to find a listening. So this, this is the listening. How was the listening? It was easy or difficult? Was it easy or difficult? Easy. Easy. Uh, Okay, you say Hi everybody. It, good night. Hello, Roberto. Good evening. Welcome to the class. So you say it was easy. Okay, tonight we're going to have a practice about listening. 
So then you are going to complete the sentences in the exercise number two. Here are the instructions. Look at the map and complete the sentences. And you are going to use here the preposition of place, the preposition of play that we studied in the classroom uh, to give direction. So let's see the next one. Uh, you are going to answer this. Yes, no question and also some information question. You are going to choose the correct answer in this part and that is the third exercise. Then you are going to match the verse with the correct word or phrases in this part. In the next part, you have to complete the conversation using the correct yes, no question in simple past. And at the end, you are going to find a reading passage or, a, or an article and you are going to read it and you have to answer some questions about the reading and that is the final test. Is it difficult? No, I'm sure that it is easy for you. We have studied all the topic that you're going to find here in this. And today we're going to have a review in case that you don't remember this. So did you have any problem in this part, in this reading? We are going to discover that later. So let's start with tonight's class. If you don't have any question about the final exam, Questions, question about the final test? No question. No question, okay, exercise A, exercise B, exercise C, D, E and F. It's everything clear? Okay, if you don't have any questions, so let's start with this. I'm going to share with you the presentation of tonight. Okay, here we go. I am sharing with you my screen, so let me know, please, if you can see it. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's see, this is the topic for tonight, final test review, and also we are going to have a reading part. So welcome to your class number 15. Thanks a lot for being here with me tonight. We are going to learn many things. So let's start, this is the listening part. This is the listening part that you found in the final test. This is the listening conversation. So let's listen. Can you listen? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. So let's listen to the first conversation. Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Two. Okay, that is the first conversation. Where is Mark going? Where is Mark going? He's going to buy him a present. Oh, he is going to buy a present. Uh, where is he going? 
It means department store. Department store. Okay, he is going to the Smith's department store. Excellent. And is he going to drive there? No, he, no, don't. he doesn't. Mm, is he going to drive there? You say yes, he is, or no, he isn't. No, he isn't. No, he yeah. isn't. Why not? What's the matter? What's the problem? Don't have a gasoline. Oh, he, he doesn't. His car, any gasoline. His car doesn't have any gasoline. Okay, excellent. Yes, let me fix this. It is not gasolina, and that is in Spanish. It's gasoline. Just a second, I'm going to fix it. Gasoline. It's a name, no a name. Okay, so what happened with Helen? Where is she going? Where is she going? Where is Helen going? She's going. She's going to the bank. To the bank. He, he's going to the bank. Excellent. So, so listen again. We're going to listen again. This is small conversation, and then we're going to practice tonight. But pay attention to the pronunciation of every word, please, and we are going to practice them. <laughs> Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Two. Uh-oh. Okay, two volunteers to practice the small conversation. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Say me. Say me and your name, please. Vanessa. Vanessa in? Francisco. Vanessa and Francisco, thanks a lot. Vanessa, eh, Vanessa, you are Helen. Francisco, you are going to be Mark in this conversation. So you can start. Hey, Mark, where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present. I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't. No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm gonna walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's no first from Smith. Can I come with you? Sure. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's see, there is a mistake here. What is the mistake? ¿Se acuerdan de la estructura de estas? Es I'm, I'm gonna. So this, uh, the verb be must be there. I'm gonna walk. Okay, thank you, Vanessa and Francisco. You did an excellent job. So I need to volunteer to practice the first conversation. Me, Eric. Eric and who wants to help me? Me, Soledad. Thank you, Soveida. So, Eric and Soveida. Soveida, you are Helen. Eric, you are Mark. Okay. Hey, Mark, where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is, is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present. I'm gonna, I'm gonna to Smith department store. Are you gonna drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I wanna walk. 
you know I need to go to the band. It's not far from Smith. Can I come with you? Sure. Excellent job. So thank you, Vanessa, Francisco, Eric, and Soveida. You did a great job in that first part. So let's listen to the second part. See? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. Smith's department store. Walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Two. Uh-oh. I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. Three. <laughs> And what is the okay? Someone is celebrating a birthday party tonight. Uh, I'm so sorry for that. So let's see in the second conversation who wants to participate. So let's see. Oh, I think we're lost. Where is the Smith Department store? And Mara says, I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We are on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You are right. It's on the corner at first in Main. So they get lost. Se perdieron. They don't know where is Smith's department. What's the problem? Now they are traveling by bus and they usually drive there. So who wants to participate in this small conversation? I need to volunteer to practice, please. Any volunteer tonight? Me. Me. Can you please say your name? Eric. Okay. Me, Lisa. Me, Lisa. Okay, let's start with Eric and Lisette. So, Lisette, you are Helen, and Eric, you are Mark in the second conversation. Oh, oh, I think we are lost. Where is Smith Department Store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We are on 2nd Street now. I think it's on May. You are right. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. Excellent job. So thank you, Eric. Thank you, Seth. So you are right, it's on the corner first, first and main. So thank you. Any other volunteer to practice in this conversation? Say me and your name, please. Who me, Francisco. Francisco. Francisco and? Any other volunteer? Francisco me, and? Monica. Me, Francisco Monica. And Francisco and Monica, thanks a lot, Monica. So, Monica, you are Helen. Francisco, you are Mark. Oh, oh, I think we are lost. Where is a Smith department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive here. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. Oh, it's not. We are on 2nd Street now. I think it's on May. You are right. It's on the corner of Fields and Main. 
Thank you very much. You did an excellent job. Now let's see. Um, in the first conversation, we have the future stand using going to going to. In this one, we are reviewing the given direction, given direction, and also preposition of place. So let's look at the following conversation. There are four conversations in the listening of the final test. So here are the next two. So let me play this. It is here. Sure. Two. Uh-oh. I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. I think it's on Main. Yep. So how do we get there from here? Well, okay. um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we're on second now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up second to Main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Four. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. Okay, finally, where is a Smith department store? And then find here the direction. So we ask what on second to main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. Para qué lado tienen que girar? Turn right. A la derecha. Derecha. A la derecha. Okay, excellent. It's, it's down the street on the left. left. Yes. Bajar, yes. Gira a la izquierda. Okay, bajando la calle está a la izquierda a la izquierda, izquierda. Muy bien excelente so, to volunteer to practice the first to volunteer to practice the first conversation so it says mm, how are we going to get there from here well we are on second now right yeah well, we as well on second to main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the strip on the left. That is the first conversation. Then we have, what are you going to buy for your father? I'm not so sure. Maybe a tight. Oh, no, not a tight. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at this sweater here. Oh, they are nice. I think I get it one. Thanks. So, a volunteer, please, to practice this small conversation. Who wants Me. to practice? Francisco and? Me, teacher. Vanessa. Francisco and Vanessa, please. Vanessa, you are B and Francisco, you are A. So, you can start, please. Okay. Okay, Francisco. You can start. Hey. Uh, um. How are we going to get there from the from here? Well, we are on second now, right? Yeah. Well. We just walk on second to main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the strip on the left. Thanks a lot, Vanessa and Francisco. You did an excellent job. Thank you very much. So the last one, who wants to participate in the last conversation? Me, Mario. Thank you, Mario and... Who wants to participate in this part? You can do it. Help me, please. Me, Monica. Thank you, Monica. So, Mario and Monica, 
Monica, you are A. Mario, you are B. What are you gonna buy for your your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie. Oh no, not not a, a, a tie. No, then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at this sweater here. Oh, they are nice. I think I get a one. Thanks. Okay, very good job. Thanks a lot. You did an excellent job. Say thank you, Monica. Thank you, Mario. So let's go with this. Look at this map. And we're going to practice saying sentences, giving direction, using preposition of place. So let's see, preposition of place. The first one is next to, on the corner of, behind, across from, in between. Uh, do you remember what is the meaning of next to? Calapar. Thank you. Oh, what, no. is okay. what is the meaning of on the corner of? Nice. Cruzando la. Frente, ¿eh? And on the corner of is in the esquina there. Right? Behind, what's the meaning of behind? Do you remember? Junto, atrás, al lado. Okay, atrás. Mm, atrás. Behind means atrás. Across from. Cruzando. Cruzando de. Cruzando de. In between. Al en lado. medio. En medio. En medio. Entre, ¿verdad? En medio. So, can you tell me where is Joe's Jean? Joe's Jean. Utilizando la preposición correcta, puedes decirme una oración. Where is Joe's Jean? It's here. Joe's Jean. So, tell me, where is it? Where is Joe's Jean? Across from on the park. Okay, excellent. Joe's Jean is across from the park. Mm -hmm. Joe's Jean other... is between a post office and old days department store. Excellent sentences. Thanks a lot. So Joe's Jean is across from the park and Joe's Jean is between the post office and all days department stores. Thanks a lot. So can you please tell me where is the First Avenue Shopping Center? First Avenue Shopping Center is here. Can you tell me a sentence using a preposition of place? Where is the First Avenue Shopping Center? No, tell me the sentence. The shopping center is be behind gas station. Thank you. That is an excellent sentence. The First Avenue Shopping Center is behind the gas station. Very good. Now, can you please tell me where is, where is Rosa's restaurant? ¿Dónde está? It's here, Rosa's restaurant. The Rosa's restaurant on the corner of Maple Avenue. And? No. And Pine, and Street. Pine Street. Excellent, same thing. Thank you. That's correct. So Rosa's restaurant is across in the corner of park. across from the park. Yes, we can say across, across from, from the, the park, park too. Any other preposition? Rosa's restaurant next to Frank Coffee. Excellent sentence to Rosa's restaurant is next to Frank's. Café. Very good.
between we kind of use between in this case front coffee it's next to is next to friends cafe oh um, now can you please tell me where is parker's drugstore parker's drugstore is here Okay, excellent. Parker's doctor is between grocery and the grocery store and top shoes. In top shoes. So thanks a lot. Now, Teacher, what, yes. Pregunta. ¿Cómo se decía que estaba sobre esta calle? Por ejemplo, para decirle que estaba sobre la Pine Street. On, it's on Pine Street. Mm, okay. It's Thank on, you. we use on. Okay, so you are going to find this in the final test, right? This preposition of play, you are going to find next to, on the corner of, and I guess across from two. So do you have any question? The last question, where is the laundromat? Donde esta la lavandería de laundromat? Where is it? It's here, the laundromat. The it's on the corner, sorry. Continue. <laughs> Thanks. It's on the corner of Fierce Avenue and Main Street. Okay, First, Ave First Avenue and Main Street. Avenue. No, in this case, ah, no. no. This is the corner. Está atrás. <laughs> Yes, it's behind the post office. Okay. Good try. Thanks a lot. Good try. So let's continue with this. So you are going to find this simple question to simple past question. Let's see where your parents born in the US. Where did you grow up? Who was your first English teacher? When did you come to New York? How was your first day in the US? So can you please find the answer for this question in the letter, please? So we're going to match the numbers and the letters. So question number one, where your parents born in the US? Look for the answer here. One, one, letter D. You say one D. D. Yes. Who they were in? in El Salvador. El Salvador. Two uh, in A. Two in A. So where did you grow up? I grew up in San Miguel. Excellent. That's the right answer. The next one, number three. Who was your first English teacher? Letter e. e. Letter E. My first English teacher was e. Mr. Collins. E. For no. C. C. I came to New York in the, I don't know, 2010. 2010. <laughs> okay. When did you come to New York? I came to New York in 2010. Yes, that is the correct answer. And the last one, how was your first day in the US? Letter B. Letter B, it was a little sad. I missed my country. Extrañaba mi país. So here are the answers. This is the key answer. 1D, 2A, 3E. 4C and 5B. So I need two volunteers to practice this. And one is going to read the question and the other one is going to read the answer. So who wants to participate? Let me know, please. Me, Francisco. 
Francisco and any other volunteer? Miss Oveida. Thanks a lot. So, so Oveida, you are going to ask the question and you are going to answer, Francisco. Is it okay? Okay. You can stand. Were your parents born in the U.S.? No, they weren't. No, they weren't. They were born in ESA. Where did you grow up? I grew up in San Miguel. Who was your first English teacher? My first English teacher was Mr. Collins. When did you come to New York? I came to New York in 2010. How was your first day in the U.S.? I was a little sad. I missed my country. Excellent. Thank you. Do you have any question about this part? Questions? Question? No question tonight? No question. Well, okay, no excellent. question. If you don't have any question. So let me remember, let me remind you that you are going to find this question in the final test. Ahí está, bueno, you are going to find some similar question like this one. So tonight we are going to have this sequence of events. When we are talking in past, we need to follow a sequence. Tenemos que seguir una secuencia. So look at this reading. Yesterday, my wife and I went to a restaurant. It was a romantic evening, but at 11 o'clock, the lines went out. We heard a lot of screams. We didn't know what to do. We wanted to go out. Suddenly, a man appeared and said, stay there. He was a thief. He had a gun in his hand. There was another man beside him. We gave them our money. After 10 minutes, the police arrived and they caught the thief, but we never recovered our money. So what happened in this, in this story? It's a sad history. Oh, it's a sad history, right? They lost their money. Eh, se lo llevaron los ladrones o lo, lo, la policía? The thief or the police officer? What yeah. do you think? Eh, and it says police. The, yes, the, police police. Of, the police <laughs> officer, right? Unfortunately, they were the police officer. And after 10 minutes, the police had right. Después de 10 minutos, llegó la policía. Aquí en El Salvador, llegan en 5, right? So... <laughs> in five hours so let's see this is the first event yesterday my wife and i went to a restaurant it was a romantic evening but at 11 o'clock here is the second event the lights went out se apagó la luz we heard a lot of screen that is the other event Escuchamos muchos gritos. We didn't know what to do. We wanted to go out. Siguiente evento. Suddenly, de repente, sorpresivamente, a man appeared and said, stay there. Y un hombre apareció y dijo, ¿qué decía ahí, verdad? No se mueva. He was a thief. He had a gun in his hand. There was another man beside him. We gave them, siguiente evento, we gave them our money. Le dimos nuestro dinero. After 10 minutes, the police arrived. Siguiente evento, la policía llegó. And they caught the thief. But we never recovered our money. So let's see. Um, in this. Teacher. Yes. Sorry. The meaning of gun? Gun, una pistola. 
Uh, he had okay. a gun in his hand. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Any other new vocabulary in this part? Out. 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 And they caught the thief. Es el verbo catch en pasado. Es como lo atraparon. Atrapar, no, 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 no. así es. Okay. Y thief, thief yes. que sería como el plural de thief. Yes, thief es el plural de ladrón, thief. Okay. Okay, this is the singular thief and this is the plural, thieves. Any other new word in this part? Okay, tell me, ¿les ha pasado algo similar a esto? Yes. yes. Have you ever been assaulted? In the past, okay. In what the past. Did, what did you lose? ¿Qué perdieron? Cell phone and money, in uh, my case. Cell phone, money, ID card, credit card, sometimes. Me on the street, in the work. Really, at work? I understand uh, at the street, but mm. at work? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Just on be the careful. Street, uh, is on it? your cell phone. Okay, yes, your cell phone. You lost your cell phone. I'm sorry to hear that. And at your work, just be careful with your co-workers. So let's see the next thing. We are going to answer the following. Let's see, for example, this. When did this happen? Cuando sucedió? When did this happen? In when the night. In the night. Let's see if you're right. Uh -huh. It happened yesterday. So, what time was it when the lights went out? What time? ¿Qué horas eran cuando se fue la luz? 11 o'clock. Let's see. It was 11 o'clock. Perfect. What did they want to do then? ¿Qué querían hacer ellos? They was. They was. Roman. They were. Okay. They wanted to go out. Ellos querían salir del restaurante. They wanted to go out. Who was the man that appeared? Who was the man that appeared suddenly? ¿Quién fue el hombre que apareció? He, he was a thief. Okay, he was a thief. Excellent, that's the correct answer. He was a thief. What did the people give the thieves? ¿Qué le, dio las, per, ¿Qué le dieron las personas a los ladrones? What did the people give the thief? The money. Money. They, they give his money. Okay. People his gave money. the thief their money. Did the police catch the thief? Yes. Yes. They did. Yes. Yes, they did. That's the correct answer. So, yes, they did. So, let's see. We have from one to five, they are information question. And the last one is A. Uh, Yes, yes, no question. question. It's a yes, no question. So very good. So who wants to practice? Who wants to practice in this part? A question and answer. Who wants to practice? Is there a volunteer, or I need to choose someone? Me, teacher. Uh, say your name, please. Me. Me. Heidi. Ah, okay. Me teacher, Vanessa. 
Heidi and Vanessa, okay? Thank you. So Vanessa, can you please ask the question and Heidi, you are going to read the answer. You can start, please. When did this happen? It happened yesterday. What time was it the when the light went out? It was 11 o'clock. What did they want to do then? They want to go out. Who was the man that appeared? He was a Thai. What did the people give the tips? People gave the tips their money. Did the police catch the tips? Yes, they did. Excellent. Thank you very much. You did an excellent job solving this question. And Heidi and Vanessa, you did an excellent job in this practice. Thanks a lot. So let's see. Um, it is about Ricky Martin. And in this case, we are going to see a sequence of events too. So let's see, Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. He was always a performer as a child. He appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. So did you listen Menudo music? Yes, obviously. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. It was a famous, it was a famous band. Uh, he worked hard with them and he became very well known. But he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated. So he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. So, do you like Mexican soap operas? I don't listen. Oh, Mexican soap operas son las novelas. Do you like Mexican soap operas? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, okay. Which one is your favorite? Do you remember the name of the song? Do you remember the name of some Mexican soap operas? I don't remember. Which one? La Usurpadora. Oh, okay, let's continue. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish language albums. After his success, he moved back to the US. After, his, after this success, he moved back to the US. Back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show, Les Miserables. Then he made his first English language album. That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Living La Vida Loca. Do you like this song? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, Living La Vida Loca was on that album. Now he is famous around the world, but he still works hard and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper US Today, I want to do this forever. So he loved what he do. El ama lo que hace. So let's see the question about this reading. Can you please match the question and the answer? First question, what did, what did Ricky Martin study? Letter E. Letter E. F. Letter F, he studied F. singing. Okay, how long was he in, in Menudo? Letter E. Letter e. e. He was in Menudo just five years. <laughs> Let's see, where did he move first? Where did he move first? 
Letter A. Letter A. Letter A, New York. Did he appear in a soap opera? Yes, he did. Letter C. Letter C, yes, he did. How many albums did he record in Spanish? Letter D. Letter D, he recorded D. two albums. Excellent. How was the name of his English album? Letter B. Letter B, Ricky Martin. Okay, excellent. So let's see, sequence of events again. Okay, lo primero fue nacer, ¿verdad? Ricky Martin was born in San Juan. Then, as a child, he appeared in television commercial and started singing. And then, at the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. And then he moved to New York. And then he moved to Mexico City. He, bueno. he got a part in a Mexican soap opera. And he recorded two Spanish language albums. And then he appeared on an American soap opera. And he made her first English language album. And now he is famous around the world. Is he still famous? Is todavía famoso? So, so. So, so. So, so. Okay, más o menos. Ya le está pasando, ¿verdad? Ya está pasando de moda. He is old fashioned now. I need to volunteer to practice this question and answer, please. Who wants to participate? Who wants to participate tonight? Hey, teacher. Thank you. Heidi, right? Yes. Heidi and Tatiana. Any... Tatiana, okay. Tatiana and Heidi. So, Tatiana, you are going to read the question and Heidi, you are going to read the answer, please. You can start. What did Ricky Martin study? He started singing. How long was he in Menudo? He was in a Menudo five years. Where did he move in, move in to? Mm. Uh, yes, he did. Oh, it says where, where did he move first? I'm sorry. Uh, New York. Did he appear in a soap opera? Yeah. Yes, he did. How many albums did the did he record in Spanish? He recorded two albums. How was the name of his English album? Ricky Martin. Excellent. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. So let's finish. Let's finish here. I'm going to. Okay, let's see this reading. Just give me a second. I'm going to share with you. What is it? Okay. Just a second. So do you have any question about this reading? Any vocabulary? Any new vocabulary in this reading? So yes, a second, it is still charging. Okay, home alone. It says Jerry Carson, 16, had a terrible weekend. His parents went to visit his aunt, but he stayed home. He got up early on Saturday and went downstairs to the basement to do laundry. 
He went back upstairs, but at the top of the stairs, the door was locked. He pushed on it, but it didn't open. He called to his neighbors, but they didn't hear him. Luckily, Jerry had food to eat. There were some extra groceries in the basement, and he had a place to sleep. He put some clothes from the laundry on the floor and slept on them. His parents came home Sunday morning and found Jerry in the basement. We called Jerry late Saturday night, but he didn't answer. He didn't answer the phone, said his father. We came home right away. We're just happy he's all right. So what's happened in this reading? Can you please tell me what happened in the reading? Jerry stayed alone in the house. Okay, Jerry stayed alone in the house and he went downstairs to the basement to do laundry. Fue al sótano, porque iba a lavar la ropa. Uh -huh. And he went back upstairs cuando estaba subiendo las gradas up the top of the stairs. The door was locked. La puerta se cerró y quedó atrapado en el basement. So, do you have any new vocabulary in this reading? A word that you don't know? Basement. Basement means sótano. Yes, basement is el sótano. Thank you. Thank you for your question. Laundry. Eso es, to do laundry es la expresión que utilizamos para decir uh, lavar, lavar la ropa en una lavadora. To do laundry. Do laundry. That is the expression. Any other question? No more question at this part. Let's see, for example, what is the meaning of luckily? La puerta fue cerrada. Oh, that is locked. Luckily is afortunadamente. Afortunadamente, Jerry had food to eat. Quedó atrapado, pero luckily, afortunadamente, tenía comida. Para comer en el basement. Let's see. What's the meaning of a slap? And a slap on them. Durmió en el piso. Ah, okay, excellent. He put some clothes from the laundry on the floor and slept on them. Perfect. Se durmió en el piso. Let's see. What's the meaning of right away? If we came home right away. What's the meaning of that expression? Ellos vinieron a casa desde lejos. Good try, but no, not in this case. Nah. If we came home right away, that means inmediatamente, right away. Nah. Inmediatamente. And the last one, what is the meaning of all right? We are just happy he's all right. Todo está bien. Estamos oh, felices. Okay, todo está bien. That is a good translation. All right. Todo está bien. You are going to find this reading in the final test. Va a encontrar esta lectura and you are going to find some questions that you have to answer. Y algunas preguntas que tienen que responder acerca de esto. So, are you sure that you don't have any other vocabulary question? Any new vocabulary? A new word? A new phrase? No, no. no teacher. No Okay, thank you. Then, tomorrow is our last classroom. So, don't miss it, please.
mañana es nuestra última clase. Please, um, I would like that you were here. Me gustaría que ustedes estén en the last class. We are going to have a review of some of the topic we have been studying during the course. So if you don't have any other question, thank you so much. See you tomorrow for our last class. And if you are missing some exercises on the platform, so please uh, finish tomorrow. Uh, antes de la clase de mañana, todo tiene que estar terminado en la plataforma. Si todavía le hace falta algún ejercicio, eh, tomar el examen final, do it. And if you have any question, we can help you on the WhatsApp group. Si tiene algún problema en algún ejercicio o del examen final, escribe en el grupo de WhatsApp y con gusto le ayudamos. Then, sleep well and see you tomorrow. Bye, bye. See you. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.